Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's been raining babies in the year 2024, and the only of Ife or Jaja too just welcomed another baby from Queen for Lasha Day. Yes, this wonderful news was shared on the official page of the Oni himself and congratulating the mom and welcoming the baby, letting the world know that the palace has just received a new visitor and the mom and child is hell and hearty. On Oni of Ife's page, it says, and I quote, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Hearty congratulations to the entire house of Ududua and Olori Falashadi, who today birthed a prince from the mother side of Oni at that bar royal compound of Lafo Gido ruling house and father side of Oni at Bede royal compound of Gaisi ruling house combined to the royal throne of Odudua. Monda and child are doing well to the glory of God. Almighty and in line with the spirit of our ancestors, Utisheshi. End quote. This was the news that was shared with the members of the public today as Ani welcomes a prince. And everyone is happy to hear this news. We all know that the first prince is Tadini Kawu, the child of Queen Naomi. Heavily, it's been claimed that Tadini Kawu is the one and only prince that the only would ever have here we are celebrating the arrival of another prince we all know the rivalry story that's been going on in the palace for over two to three years in fact since ojajato became king there's been so many rivalries going on in the palace it was said that six wives who only officially got married to in 2022 were all said to have been living in the palace, but nothing official. And when Queen Naomi decided that she's done and she has to leave the palace and she can't be living a two-faced life anymore, was when Oni decided that he is going to take on several wives. Now, as that attracted a lot of questions here and there and controversies on social media, people kept forgetting that the Oni of Ife shouldn't be married to one wife, but several wives. And there were so many terrible things said about the Oni of Ife, the king of Yoruba land, which a lot of people don't understand that he is a deity and is not supposed to be with one wife. Although the news went viral when Queen Naomi decided to leave the palace and so many news about them trying to resolve their relationship and marriage went on social media. But Queen Naomi herself decided that she will not be addressed as Queen of Ife, but rather the queen of the people as she has moved past living the life of a two-faced person and she's happy with her decision people don't have to call or revert to her as a queen the first question people asked was that why has she not changed her name removed the title of queen and stop answering the surname ogunwesi as well naomi who has several fans and followers on social media backing her after the news of orni marrying several wives surfaced on social media some people called it revenge some people said that orni was trying to get at queen naomi some people did comparison some people said these women have always been in the palace and that was why the palace was unbearable for Naomi and she had to leave as no one knew what exactly was going on in the palace. Well, last year, Queen Toby welcomed twins as well. And of course, the same way this news that was shared about Queen Falashadi was also done for Queen Toby. And it says, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Hearty congratulations to the entire house of Ududua and Uluri Tobiloba, who today betted a prince and princess to the royal throne of Odudua. Mother and child are doing well to the glory of God Almighty. And quote. This was Tobiloba welcoming a twin and of course with a prince. The fact that Oni married several women was not what jarred a lot of people, but the subsequent ceremony was what got people questioning acts of Ojaja too. Forgetting that he had to face at least two embarrassing divorces from different women. So in this turn, if any of these women decide that they are going to be leaving the palace before they announce they are leaving the marriage and the palace on social media, these two other wives would be brought in and that will be the latest talk of town. 
forgetting whoever decides to announce they are leaving the palace. It's no longer going to be a big deal to anyone at this point. Oba Adeyeyi Ogunwosi has tried to stay in a monogamy relationship, but that never worked. It has never worked in the past and definitely won't work now, as it is expected of the only to have several wives. Whoever doesn't understand the culture of the Yoruba land should have little or nothing to say about that. Of course, this monogamy has ended in a terrible divorce and made a lot of people question the power of the deity called Ojaja itself. People wondered and pondered why would these women have the infantry to go on social media to announce their divorce with the king. Rather, it should be something sacred and private, away from the public eye. It shouldn't be something that everyone has a say or gets to debate on. But now the only has made it clear no such embarrassment will befall him in the nearest future. And of course, babies are being welcomed in the palace from the young wives of the king. Well, the palace has welcomed another prince. Say a big congratulations, a hearty congratulations to the Oni of Ife and Ife at large. And guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.